Godmother Go On is here. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel once again, and welcome back to episode 23 of the Luna Extravaganza! Today, I don't have the light stick because I was too lazy to walk over there and grab it and put the batteries in because, you know, that's a lot of work. But, pretend it's in my hand and Luna light stick, woo! Anyways, today we're gonna be checking out our first and only, unfortunately, music video from YYYY, Love Forever, featuring Grimes, and we're also gonna check out the little, like, thing. You know? You know what I'm talking about. The one, it's, I think it's called One. We'll get there. We're gonna check that out after, though. I don't wanna wait anymore. We're gonna bring up the video. Video is up, let's go. <laughs> right into it. There's lots of lore. Yellow, again! Yellow. Hyunjin, what are you doing? Why are you so prominent in the Luniverse? What is that about? Okay, so that here are our friends abandoning Olivia. <laughs> Hello. Finally introducing Luna. So, are you girls, ready? girls are being cast out of okay. Eden or something. And they left Olivia and she's angry now. <laughs> I, my energy's too heavy. I love you, Go On. Oh. They're being tested. I'm not gonna have time to talk about theories because this song is too intense and hype. It's not that hype, but like, it's very speedy. So they're being like, checked, are you doing good? Are you doing everything right? And they did something wrong. And that's sin. And I think that's Eve in there, right? Yeah, and she's being apprehended by Olivia. Wait, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. At that table is Chu, Go On, and Olivia. So that's when Eve is like by herself. Like, she's like, oh, I'm thinking of leaving because they said I had, I don't know, I don't even know what it was, but she made something dirty, I think. Look, she's like, oh, I love that part of the song, hold on. There's too much to talk about. I like it. Um, Eve is like, I'm about to, I'm about to cause problems on purpose. Um, Unlocking the door, which represents her leaving Eden, I think, maybe. I mean, there's another part that also does that, but... She, now she's, like, on Earth, I think. And now there are many people are being yelled at by the crazy lady, whoever she is. Is that God? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Look, Eve is, like, coercing Chu. We won't, we won't be talking about the song. I love the song, but there's too much going on. So now they're like, go on. You want to cause problems with us? Exclude Olivia for some reason that I don't remember why. Look, Olivia's like, can I join you guys? And they're like, I don't see it. Oh, poor Olivia. I don't. I still don't understand why, to be honest with you. But dang, mean girls. <laughs> they, Luna was the original list. And then they're eating the flower. I don't know what that means, but they sure are. Is that them sinning? Are they sinners? <laughs> they're both eating the same rose, girls. That is, I bet you it's Chew and Eve. <laughs> this is a wild part of the song, by the way. Ooh, there were apples. We didn't want to see that. Oh, I turned on the volume back soon. Ooh. Okay, so. I don't see, I don't know what else is on their plate, but I know that the three girls who have left have apples on their plates. And Chu's is green, which is interesting, which it also is in her music video. And I don't know what Olivia's eating, but she's snacking over there. It doesn't look like an apple though. This is a funny part of the choreo, I don't know why. There's Eve leaving. And there goes Chu and Go On. <laughs> Chu is running like this. And there's Olivia left alone. That is a terrifying scene, if I'm honest with you. See, and then she's watching them run away. It's so interesting. 
Also, they're not wearing their own colors, which I find very interesting. So, Chu is wearing Hyunjin's color. And then Eve, I guess you could say she's wearing her own color, because it could be burgundy. It could also be Kim Lip's color, which is red. Uh, Goan's wearing blue, which is Jinsoul's color. And Olivia is wearing Hasel's color, which is very interesting. I, I don't know what it means, but it's very interesting. I wonder if there's a connection between the people. So these ones are these ones. Those girls are escaping back to Earth without Olivia, and then Olivia follows them after, I believe. I think. And eventually falls to her. Maybe? The the lore gets muddled for me here. <laughs> Very cute ending. Oh, and then it's just Olivia at the end. I almost missed that because I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy clapping. And then it's just Olivia at the end there. Why, 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 why? Okay, um, we're going to go right into the little one clip, you know, like the lore clip. I don't know what to call it, but we're going to go right into it. Okay, we're here. I didn't know this was three minutes and 55 seconds, but that's good because it gives me lots of time to talk about lore and what this is trying to represent, which, disclaimer, I don't know. I have no idea. I am just spewing my own thoughts, and I've read some things about it, but I'm just saying things, okay? So don't take anything that I say, it's yellow again, don't take anything I say as fact or being correct. I could be saying the exact wrong thing. Your god person puts an apple tree in the middle of the garden and says, do what you like, guys. <laughs> oh, but don't eat the apple. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, can we do that again? Because I don't know why it seems very meme-y. Like, do what you like, guys. Oh, but don't eat the apple. It's very much like, it feels like a meme format. That feels very much cartoony too, I love it. I like how weird it is and strange. So I've seen I've heard a lot of things about this representing how they're like one, which is why it's called one, like they're the faith, so Eve is faith, um, but how they represent like one being, like human sort of thing, I, I have no idea to be honest with you, but so Eve picks up the apple, but when we see it, it's true. So that kind of represents how like they are one, you know what I mean? And also, the apple was red, just like it was on the plate in the music video we just watched, but when Chu picked it up, it was green, just like she. Chu is love, which is interesting. Can we just, can we take a minute? Can we pause here for a second? Chu is representing love here, and y'all are really gonna sit here and tell me that Eve and Chu, or well, Chu's music video with Eve is not about love. I mean, people like, listen, okay. I, I said I was going to talk about it, but we're not going to talk about it. But listen, we know the truth. Eve, you don't have to say it was about yearning, which is still basically love. But that's the way it should be translated as love, okay? So sorry, I'm done now. We're Chu, and we're in a room, and we're about to go into a different room, okay? And then we'll go on. I really like it. I love it. <laughs> What am I doing? I like the artistic style of it. And Golan is hope, which is interesting. I like that. The weird opera, what's well, not weird, but the opera music is very much like, it adds a very, um, it really like ties it all together. Like the feeling that it's going for, it kind of, it has this odd feeling to it. It's very Luna. I wonder if it means anything that Goan is in a room, like, filled with pictures, and, you know. <laughs> we all walk into our final room. There's actually one more. We're walking through one more. Very, very, very cool. I like the way that it gets, like, as we go through, because Goan's hair is blonde, but, and it, you can tell, like, in this room, it's very, very blonde. But as we walk through, it's almost like we're transitioning to Olivia. Even though it's still go on because of how dark the shadows are, it's like her hair is becoming black, especially right here. We see that it's still go on, but it's like about to be Olivia. It's so, oh, 
I like it. I like it. So she goes in the bathroom and she's looking in the mirror. She's still go on at this point. And then when we look in the mirror, it's Olivia. I love that little see um, Olivia's anger, which is very interesting, which like fits the whole thing about why she was burning Eve and Vivi apparently. And we have our apple, our temptation. Olivia is the last one that needs to partake of her particular fruit. Not that it's an apple, but she's going to eat it, guys. And thus, Olivia is also cast out. I don't need no Garden of Eden. It's a good way to put it. And the rain falls in. What does it signify? It's very deep, whatever it is, and I can't understand it. This part's kind of creepy, if I'm honest with you. Like, I feel like it's supposed to be happy, but it looks so creepy. Imagine you were standing in the mirror, and then all of a sudden there were three women standing behind you, just like, you know? I, I feel like it's supposed to be I am thou, thou art me. <laughs> but yes, see, that's I feel like that's why people say, like, you know, they are one. It's also called one. I want y'all to know that even if by some miracle you thought that I was actually giving you insightful stuff in this video, I want you to go back and listen to what I said again, because I did not say anything smart, anything big brain, not one, not one bit of it <laughs> made any sense, nor was it correct, and nor was it like, I don't know, am I a person who makes smart decisions? No. Am I a person with a brain? No. So am I a person? No. So if y'all thought that I was smart, please don't. I do hope that you enjoyed though. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that's gonna do it for this episode of the Luna Extravaganza, and we are done with the pre-debuts, kind of. That's I guess that's a lie. Favorite was technically a, a pre-release sort of thing, I think, right? I think that's our next music video, but we are done with the not full group stuff. So all we have left, I think, I'm pretty sure, is favorite, hi hi, butterfly, so what, and then why not when it comes out which we'll we'll get to that before we get to those out monday everybody which is very very close by the way i'm filming this on wednesday you guys are gonna see this on saturday uh so it'll be like two days before we're all very excited i'm sure you guys are even more excited than i am right now because it's much closer i don't know what i was trying to say there bye <laughs> thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video i will see you guys in the next one Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. <laughs> Bye. Before the end of the video, I just wanted to ask if you could please check out the link at the top of the description. It leads to a card that I made, which contains a bunch of links to other cards that other people have made that deal with various issues that are happening right now in the world. By taking the time to educate ourselves, we can truly create a better world. And if you look into these cards, you'll find so much information about so many injustices that are happening around the world and exactly how you can help, including donations, petitions, and other general education. Making sure that we are all educated and up to date on what is happening in the world can truly, truly change how these things play out. We all have a part in this and staying silent is no longer an option. So educate yourself, work together, and let's create a better world. Thanks. Peace out, y'all. Bye-bye.